Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us for the reading of our Sunday morning devotionals for January 1st, 2023. Amazing. We're going to start off with David Jeremiah's book, Daily in His Presence. A brand new year. Okay, our lesson today is entitled, A Powerhouse of Promises. The scripture is from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises. Hundreds of promises are given in Scripture to believers who choose to live in obedience to God's Word. This heavenly bank of promises is powerful and purposeful for all our needs. When God provides for us, he gives lavishly from his riches. But remember that God supplies all our needs, not greeds. The Apostle Paul explained God's heavenly bank this way, And my God, his promise is positive, shall supply, his promise is pointed, all your need. His promise is plentiful, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Notice that God doesn't supply out of his riches, but according to his riches in glory. We give our tithes and offerings out of available funds in the bank. God gives commensurate with his riches. His bank is colossal. What are a couple of God's promises that are dearest to you at this point in your life? How can you live so that those you come in contact with daily will be drawn to the power and purpose of God's promises in you? Make this new year the beginning of a closer walk with God. By his divine power, he has given you everything you need to live a godly life. So true. And now, Sarah Young's book, Jesus Calling. A brand new book we just got for Christmas. Okay, so there are three scriptures that accompany this. The first is from the book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 8. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. And from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And from Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Come to me with a teachable spirit, eager to be changed. A close walk with me is a life of continual newness. Do not cling to old ways as you step into a new year. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, 
knowing that your journey with me involves being transformed by the renewing of your mind. As you focus your thoughts on me, be aware that I am fully attentive to you. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. I know and understand you completely. My thoughts embrace you in everlasting love. I also know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Give yourself fully to this adventure of increasing attentiveness to my presence. And now, David Jeremiah's book, Strength for Today. A brand new year. Wow. Okay. Today's lesson is entitled, Begin with God. The scripture is from Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Beginnings are watershed moments. The beginning of a new career, life in a new city, starting college, even the beginning of a new day, hour, or minute. Every new beginning is a step of faith because we don't know precisely what events will transpire. There could be trials and there could be triumphs. But there is one thing we do know. In Christ, God is with us always. Some beginnings are bigger than others. When Joshua took over the leadership of Israel from Moses, the challenge was huge to guide a couple million souls into the promised land of Canaan, get them settled in their apportioned areas, and keep the peace while worshiping God faithfully. On the cusp of that great adventure, God made Joshua a promise. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And to confirm, I will not leave you nor forsake you. That is the promise of Emmanuel, God with us. Whatever you begin today, God is with you. New Beginnings And now Sarah Young's book, Jesus Always. Okay, there are three scriptures, the first of which is from Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. And from Psalm chapter 118, verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And from Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. As you begin a fresh year, rejoice that I am continually working newness into your life. Don't let recent disappointments and failures define you or dampen your expectations. 
This is the time to make a fresh start. I am a God of unlimited creativity. Expect me to do surprising things this year that stretches out before you. Today is a precious gift. The present moment is where I meet with you, beloved. So seek my face throughout this day that I have made. I have carefully prepared it for you with tender attention to every detail. I want you to rejoice and be glad in it. Search for signs of my loving presence as you journey along the path of life. Look for the little pleasures I have strewn alongside your pathway, sometimes in surprising places, and thank me for each one. Your thankfulness will keep you close to me and help you find joy in your journey. And now, another new book, David Jeremiah's Ever Faithful. Another book we got for Christmas. And today's lesson is entitled, He Watches. From the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. As we welcome a new year, Proverbs 15 is a very helpful chapter to turn to. Every verse is applicable to our daily life. It begins with the ever-relevant advice, a soft answer turns away wrath. Verse 2 counsels us to speak wisely about the state of our lives and the world. Verse 3 reminds us that the Lord observes all our actions and reactions. His eyes are always open, watching both the good and the evil. Those who don't know the Lord never pause to think that God is observing them like bees in a glass hive, aware of all they say, think, do, and plan. Those of us who do know and love Him are grateful we have someone watching over us. In 1926, George and Ira Gershwin wrote a popular song entitled, Someone to Watch Over Me. How wonderful to know we have someone watching over us every moment of the year. As Psalm 145 verse 20 says, The Lord watches over all who love him. Great is his faithfulness to us. That is a great song, by the way. And finally, from Sarah Young's book, Jesus Listens. As you may know, our devotional is in the form of a prayer. The contents of today's prayer are taken from the books of Isaiah and Psalm. And so therefore, let us pray. O oh, my living God, as I begin a fresh year, I rejoice that you are continually working newness into my life. Because you are doing a new thing, I must not dwell on the past. I refuse to let last year's disappointments and failures define me or dampen my expectations. This is the day for a fresh start. I know there are no limits to your creativity, so I anticipate some lovely surprises in this year that stretches out before me. Lord, 
I receive today as a precious gift from you. I realize that the present moment is where you meet with me. This is the day that you have made. I know you have carefully prepared it for me with tender attention to every detail. So I have good reason to rejoice and be glad in this day. As I journey along the path of life, I'll search for signs of your loving presence. I delight in finding the little blessings you sprinkle alongside my pathway, sometimes in surprising places. As I discover them, I'll thank you for each one. This keeps me close to you and helps me find joy in my journey. In your blessed name, Jesus, Amen. Lila and I are so very thankful that you could join us for the reading of our Sunday devotionals on this very first day of our new year. We all have so much to be thankful for. I feel blessed, and I'll bet you do too. Let's go through every day in this new year realizing how wonderful life is and how much we have been given. We have every reason to feel joy every day. Look for those blessings. They're there, and you'll find them. Take care, everyone. May God bless you all.